Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Here we are at uh, Occupy Iowa City, and this is Stephanie, and we're just uh, going to take a tour of Occupy Iowa City. Okay. All right, well... These are some of our tents. This is this bigger tent here. Do you want me to unzip them? And, um, if you want, you, you know, okay. you can just say what they are if you want. This so. bigger tent here, which the sign has fallen off of, is where we keep our um, we keep our uh, donations of blankets and clothing in oh. here. So uh -huh. we try to keep it shut as much as possible so it stays dry. This is the and office. You, you have, the office. Do you have tarps underneath there? Um, there are pallets underneath here pallets and cardboard and, cardboard and leaves, and leaves to try to keep it up off the ground. Okay. All right, that so that, uh, and then we do have another tarp that we throw over top of it when it rains. <laughs> okay. Just to keep the rain out of there. This is the office. This is where we keep our. We have books for library, and we had them up on shelves at one point, but then the rain just gets out of control, so we put them in boxes for right now until we can figure out a more permanent solution. <clears throat> They're in here, and we have, like, office supplies, all the markers and the signs. Oh, the, right. Like, you know, the supplies for making signs and stuff like that are in here. Okay. Um, these are just some, <laughs> these are some occupier tents. And this is our giant pile of dirty laundry that we're <laughs> going to have to take to the, um, and this is our partially assembled Arctic tent. Oh, cool. Uh, it's not, as you can tell, it's not up properly yet, but we need to get it. And that's and that is being heated by. And there's a propane heater in there. Okay. Propane. It's heat. not on right now. We don't right, turn right. it on unless it gets really right. cold. Yeah, you wouldn't need it. But today. uh, the, it will get bigger <clears throat> so this once is we like get a it. Warming center. Yeah, and we're hoping that once we get it put up properly and we get the square footage figured out, we'll be able to have PAs in there too when oh. it gets really cold. This right. was donated. Yeah, this was donated. <clears throat> By a wonderful man named Oz. And good morning, Sam. Good morning. How's the day? Uh, you know. Hello. How are you doing? We're from yeah. Occupy Quad Cities. We're about to occupy, and we're just enjoying the tour. Oh, oh, we um, actually had, um, sorry, sorry to interrupt. Okay. Um, we had to occupy, uh, Davenport Mayor come by, and he was like, we like what you guys are doing, and we're putting up signs one day, and, uh, um, and he was actually like visiting Iowa City because there's a senator who ah. was in town that he was uh, kind of like taking out of the nursing home and like walking around and stuff. Really cool mayor. Bill? <laughs> Bill Gluba? Bill Gluba. Yeah. Yeah, yeah he's, he's actually a cool guy, yeah. He's, okay. he's a supporter. He is a supporter. And this is our water tent. The city turned off the water just because that's what the city does at the park right. when, uh, <coughs> and when, it gets cold. when it gets cold. So there's the water tent right on. So we have water. We have liquid. We also have... Yeah, what? it's beautiful. It started out it's 26 weird. degrees this morning, and it's just absolutely beautiful. I didn't need my park at all. <laughs> this is the garage. This is where we put everything that we don't know where else to put it. Ah. It so gets it, all dark. Uh, Miss Magoo's closet, in other words. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Brakes are here. We have sleds. Sleds. So we can move things around on sleds. Oh, yeah. And this is the hypothermia tent. Ah. Basically, what we have going on with this tent, and I don't know if anybody's sleeping here right now, so I don't want. There might be, so I don't want right. to open it up. Is this a tent inside a tent? Yeah, this is. There's a tent inside this tent, and then it's surrounded by big bags of leaves. Wow. So this is what we would put somebody in if they got really cold. Right, right. And I think he's been sleeping in there, so I don't want to be too loud because he might still be in there. Obviously, Sam was still in the tent. <laughs> did you take a picture of how they're sitting on pallets and the pallets are stuffed with? Yeah, we did. We did actually get that um, on that. These are some more of our occupier tents. Um, that's my tent with the leaves around. Oh. That's what we um, when it starts to get the windy side. Yeah, the windy side. Uh -huh. um, right eventually, we're hoping to get enough bags of leaves. To and they're black all too, the so they get some solar heating going yep. on. So you get a nice. Uh, well, that's really low tech. Yeah, it is really that's low nice. tech. Our tent is a pretty good tent, so we don't waste um, pallets underneath it. It. Almost yeah. four seasons. I think I so could get away with that. If you just piled a bunch of leaves, it looks like you, did you put a bunch of leaves on? on yeah, there's leaves on. We have the leaves under it, and we have our tarp underneath it, and we have thermorests that right. we sleep on, so yeah, we don't I feel know. like we need the pallets because we have those. Right. And we are. When it gets really cold, you might need them. Yeah. With those, all those methodologies at the same time. Yeah, and when it gets really cold, we'll probably do. Tom probably sleeps here the most, and his tent is probably the most set up. Wow. Yeah. Uh, he's got that up on pallets and leaves. You could probably and sleep till three, three in the afternoon in there. Yeah, yeah. He. <laughs> see, I heard somebody cough. 
some of these in a sense. Sorry. Like, no, 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 it's okay. They should be like No, I'm just, <laughs> just saying. Um, so, yeah, this is the, uh, <clears throat> this is like, I think the idea of what we're going to do with all of the tents when it starts getting wintery is to, yeah. Um, and he's got leaves. I think that eventually he might want to pack some leaves around the outside too, just for. It gets pretty windy up here in the hills, so yeah. we have. Um, and this is just leftover wood. Some of it is wood that we have for sign. Some of it is wood that we've had leftover for some projects that we're going to uh, eventually incorporate. Or we donated a lot of our wood to uh, Occupy Cedar Rapids. Ah. We had wood for a structure, and we decided not to build it, so we gave Occupy Cedar Rapids that wood because they're able to build structures where they're camped out. So Cool. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, we did not do this. The city had work crews up here, and they ripped things up. <laughs> and this is where we usually have GA, the sign fell over. We got a cop over um, here. <laughs> this, you know, this is our agenda board. This will be our agenda from last week night, which we need to erase so that people can put okay. the, new the new agenda on. And then we have somebody that stacks. And right. we have, usually I take notes. I have, that's fallen on me lately. That's a, that's a tough <laughs> job. So that you guys have internet? We do. Now here. Um, oh, uh, the gentleman that lives over there in that corner house donated his wireless internet to us and gave us a password to it so we can get oh, wireless cool. internet from him. Right on. And, um, oh, I forgot to show you the solar panel. We'll have to walk around. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We don't, we don't. Um, well, hey, we actually oh, and there's the kitchen. Yeah, this is the food Oh, yeah. Um, we don't. You don't like, have. As you saw, we get donations of food brought in. We don't make food on site right, you, other than. You just cook it and bring it in. Uh, it's easier that way. Well, it's easier that way in the city. And cook. the city won't let you cook here. So. And, is, and can we get a picture? Stephanie showed me earlier. Oh, inside uh, the. She opened up the food. They have a food storage. tent. The storage, yeah. Okay. Yeah, let's take a look at that. <laughs> yeah, and these are our donations. And this is just our food. We have another tent full of the donations. Oh, yeah. Lots of food. Yep, there's really plenty great. of food. And I think we, I mean, we can warm up soup. They wouldn't say anything yeah. to us about that. We just have been trying to keep those propane. Uh-huh. And then here is our solar panel. And this is our makeshift, catches the wireless, it's amplifying the wireless symbol, signal. Oh, really? Uh, 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 so, uh, <laughs> how, wow, we have to talk uh, about that. Yeah. We do need to talk about that. No I am doubt, not the person to talk to you about that. Our media guy, Johnny, set that up. Yeah. <laughs> do you guys have live stream? Are you guys connected to the live stream? We do not have a live stream currently. We talked about doing it, but... This is a Wi-Fi to, amplifier. We tried to contact... Um, Occupy together. I would just like to get our Occupy Iowa City. They have that list of or that YouTube site that's all the Occupy sites. Mm -hmm. You know where they put up their still videos, and I would like to get that okay. set up first. Um, live streaming GAs is uh, it's dark. It would be hard to do here. We are all pretty much sitting in the dark by the time we're having GA, so it would be. Uh, yeah. You'd maybe be able to get the moderator because he's right in the facility because they're standing like right in front of the light, but as far as the rest of it, it's pretty dark. So we would have a hard time putting anything out there that would be very interesting, I think, to anybody. They'd be able to hear the. We need some solar powered lights. I, I have Do one. You have a lot of electricity. Um, we here? don't have really anything that's running. People are pretty much using the solar panel for their laptops and to charge phones. We don't have a lot else that's running on electricity, so. Yeah, it's like. It's pretty much, if we have something that we're using to heat, we have a propane stove. I don't know where it went, actually. It's on one of the grills. Or we have the propane later. That's it, as far as. This is pretty much just here for charging phones and. Yeah, that's a good system for charging phones and laptops, though. Yeah, it is. Yeah. It'll, it'll do um, plenty. We have another one coming. We had a... I Renew has donated these. Oh, cool. And they have another one coming, and we this? have to find a battery for it. They don't have a battery for it, but if we find a battery for it, then we can... What kind of battery do you need? 12 volt? Yeah. Car battery? Well, no. There's a special kind of battery that these the this system has to run off of, but we... Morrow seems to think that he has an idea of somebody who might have one that we can borrow. So, uh... <coughs> the batteries that go in the kids' four-wheelers, like the kind of, like the big kid four-wheelers? Mm -hmm. I have one of those. Would 
that work? I don't know. I'd have to. I would have to talk to the person who. To Gina, she knows more about the solar panel than I do. I do hope that. Sam, do you know how to check the solar panel to make sure that it's turned on and charging? Yep. Could you do that because it's funny, <laughs> and no, I don't know if it's on or not. It's, it's, it's on it. Is it? Because they turned it off yesterday. I know that. I renew. I renew. Yeah, I was going to talk to John Rood and I renew. They, I've got some friends in renewable energy, and we need because to. Because this is really the only thing we're using the power the, for right now. Is there's the, the charge, charge controller. Mm -hmm. and we've got one. It's like a deep cycle marine battery, probably. That's what they usually use. Um, so I, I know in town in the Quad City somewhere there's a. There's a whole trailer of solar panels that just rides around, um, and I renew honestly. has uh, done a bunch of events I've seen it at, and it's o locally owned by I think somebody sold it to I renew actually. Oh yeah. So I'm I need to get a hold of and actually them. There's a, there's a lot of fun stuff. There. Oh yeah. All right. I, I don't know how how easily you can see any of this, of course. But. And there was also a, a teach-in that we had oh, on yeah. how to do Yeah, that's really great. I mean, that's what we need to do because we're, I mean, this is, this is you know, absolutely what needs to happen. You know, they take away our microphones. We do the human mic. They take away our power. Well, we have to, you know, solar power is set to drop 7% per year now. And Solyndra failing was, was actually because the prices dropped so much they couldn't stay in business. So it's actually a good thing. We're, we're going to see a 7% price drop in oh, solar power over the, every year for the next couple of years, and within about yeah. four years, it's going to be competitive with coal. Good. It's going to be stupid to go, dig coal out of the ground. It's going to be cheaper to just buy solar panels. Isn't it stupid that it's not already, though? Yeah, I mean, it should have been like, subsidized a long time ago. We should have taken yeah. those oil company subsidies and said, you know, this is going on solar, solar power now and wind power, and that's it. And if you go to the state historical complex of uh, Iowa, um, the historical complex of Iowa, um, uh, in, in Des Moines, you like walk into the you know front doors and you see this big huge woolly mammoth and you're like whoa yeah. really cool and then yeah. you look to the left and you see this old timey car and you're like what the hell is that and, <laughs> another dinosaur um, <laughs> except you look at that old timey car and it was the first electric car in Iowa oh was it, it was 1917 wow right right uh, and Isn't what's your crazy? what's your name I'm, I'm um, sorry Sammy Sam yep uh, good to meet you and. I just, you know, I wanted, because we're going to show this video to everybody in the Quad Cities, and we're trying to get everybody to occupy, and this is just, I think, really cool what you guys have set up here, and it's just oh, obviously so, you know, perfect as far as, you know, what we need for our <laughs> dynamic in the it's Quad Cities. Perfect. No, it's, it's, it's perfect I mean, in its imperfection. Oh, you know what man. I mean? It, it creates the dynamic of community, which is what everybody is missing, and even though it might be hard, yeah. we're still really looking forward to this. You know, but I lived outside for a year and a half, so I, I'm not afraid to live outside some more. You've, you've got you've got more more survival skills than I do. I don't know much. I really don't. And a lot of people who are camping out here, they don't also don't. Yeah. As well. well, I'm looking um, forward to like you know being able to like just be comfortable in it and help people be comfortable in it. If you if you'd like to do a teach and on like how to survive in the wintertime, I mean I'm, that might be pretty. Yeah, I, I, I think I have some skills you know regarding that, but. Um, yeah, so I'm absolutely, I'm, I'm a former organizer for ACORN. I, oh, yeah, man. I, uh, worked for ACORN for four years. Yeah. And I, I, I uh, I was I'm part of the voter registration in Indi Indianapolis. I'm sorry that old white men really don't like you. Yeah. <laughs> right. Well, I love this thing that's happening in, in America. It's just so amazing. You know, we're, we're really making some some changes here we're already seeing the changes politicians are already starting to go oh my god what are, what is going on here and, so. and, and and i don't necessarily mean you as in you acorn no yeah but i mean just yeah grumpy old white men are on the way out well i can't wait the liquid tent i like that <laughs> yeah so so this is great thanks for uh showing me the the solar panel hook up back there well, I think that concludes our, our little tour of uh, Occupy Iowa City. It's really cool here. I like it. Looking forward to Occupy Quad Cities. Yeah, man. Um, uh, and there are a couple of Occupy movements that uh, are actually... But no, we They've got their own kind of way. So, in other words, we, we, have, we have one way. And I don't necessarily think that's, you know, the way. Because, um, like, in Cedar Rapids, they don't really have a permit. And, like... Uh, I don't think they're being even. 
I don't think they're being heeded by Cedar Rapids mayor um, or even the city council for that matter. Um, Is that so helping them in some ways? Do you think? Yeah, because like they Cause they're have getting to, they, having to they dig in. Permanent structure. Yeah. Right, right, and, right. And so it's kind of sometimes the adversity actually breeds this sort of like creativity that's just out of the box, right? Mm -hmm. Whereas, you know, in in you know places like Iowa City and the Quad Cities, I think people, you know, are are more comfortable perhaps, you know. Because we have Bill Gluba, who who seems to be quite supportive. Yeah. You know, so it's it's a different. It's a it's like the curse of comfort only, you know. Yeah. Although I mean, we have we have we had a unanimous decision by the city council um, uh, on our having our permit amended um, because we are also like we have this sort of like facade of happiness from like the parks and rec director. Right. Right. permit that we, we, we signed and stuff, um, they gave it, I mean, we, we, we got it, they gave it back to us, it was, it had omissions and also additions. Yeah. So, I mean, you might run into that. Um, right. Yeah, I think they're going to play the same game with us, but we, it's a little different in Davenport, I think. You know, and I'm Occupy Quad Cities, so it's Illinois and mm -hmm. Iowa, so I'm, mm -hmm. it's an odd place, the Quad Cities, you know, we've, because it's 300,000 people there in the metropolitan area. Mm -hmm. You know, and we have to organize all of it in order to do anything. I think. Would you would you do Occupy Quad Cities or would you do Occupy Rock Island? Occupy Quad Cities. I'm convinced that we need to do it in a in a because we we Quad Cities is interesting. We can get out of the box on all this stuff. It's like we organize all the cities, and we're it's a bi-state sort of thing that we have to do. So it's in some ways already out of the box for us because it's like the largest metropolitan area in the country that doesn't have a public university because it's on the river in two, two different states. So we've struggled under, you know, a lot of oddities, you know, about our community and trying to tie it all together I think is always important. So I continue to try to, you know, anytime I organize, I organize the entire Quad Cities. You know, so, so it's interesting. It's going to be an interesting fight. Yeah. I'd, love to, I'd love to go out to the Quad Cities. I used to deliver a uh, newspaper, um, Access Line, um, ah. uh, uh, which is from Waterloo. It's an LGBT um, cool. uh, right on. newspaper right on. Um, to the Quad Cities. I used to drive back and forth in my <coughs> car. And, yeah, we should, uh, um, we should get some uh, cross-pollination going on. That's why, we're, that's why we're here, absolutely. It's going well. It's going well. Well, uh, uh, yeah, I really appreciate the... Sam, I appreciate the, the interview. This is oh, great. Uh, Good talking to you. No Hope to be back soon. Mm -hmm. We love your camp.